welcome back to the channel this video we're gonna put uh, some mud footage some riding footage through some mud finally on both machines separate rides the first one was a uh, solo ride on the 850 I took it out for a ride last weekend and uh, yesterday went for a ride with the wife and she got a chance to take the 570 into the mud for the first time and uh, you get to check how that went for her she loved it and the machine did very well but uh, before we get into that too much what I'm gonna do is a little update on the storage rack fix that I did a little bit more of a long-term view on how things uh, have shaped up initially it was done in the winter when we got it and of course with the cold weather the plastic wasn't very compliant and it I had my doubts as to whether it would settle completely but I'm happy to say that now since uh, weather has warmed up and the straps have been in place for a good while now uh, it has worked beautifully and I'm going to open the cover and show you the uh, the seal and you'll you'll see the seal has an impression of the ridge all the way around it so you can see a little bit of remnants here of the dirt from our ride but in any case I don't know if you can see it on the video but you can see the, the ridge and it goes all the way in right near where the strap is right down into this corner you can see that ridge and that's evidence that we're getting a good seal all the way around in front of the battery all the way around on the other side so I would say the fix was pretty effective it's not the prettiest thing ever and there's very little uh, material that's gotten inside that was partially because we had the uh, pressure washer going uh, when we were cleaning and I mean you really get uh, a lot of direct pressure on that seal but splash out riding I mean I don't uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Another little thing to update is the Duro tires. Um, you know, they worked well enough. I had concerns. You get differing opinions on that tire. Uh, you know, if you're going to go up to the seat uh, and you're going to get into some real sticky mud, then maybe they're not going to be enough. Um, they didn't clean out as well as my Mud Light 2s, obviously. Um, which is what I think we're going to switch to with this machine when the tire's done. But uh, they work pretty well. And actually for trail riding, I think they'll be great. So for what she wants to do, um, I think they're a good match for now. Anyways, we'll get into some, uh, some footage. You guys can see how this machine does out there in the wild. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful sunny day out for a ride near Port Elmsley. Up uh, by the Lower Rideau Lake where the Tay Canal connects. There's a piece of crown land here. We went for a ride. 
and uh, we got got some mud today. First time really getting into some mud holes with the bike, and uh, works good. Really happy with the mud lights, mud light twos. As you can see, finally starting to get it a little dirty uh, out here. First real time we got it in some mud and we'll get the footage up there. But uh, yeah, mud light twos are digging good. Throwing a lot of stuff. I mean, it's kind of what uh, their job is, is to dig that stuff up and throw it out of the way, get traction. But uh, if you don't want to get dirty, you shouldn't ride a quad, I guess. I'm getting used to it. It's my first ATV and uh, loving it. Just loving it. It's about... Uh, 11 or 12 degrees Celsius, so it's nice weather, just starting to warm up. Uh, first time I was down here was last weekend. Well, I went once in the snow, which kind of is a whole other experience. Last weekend when I came, it was just uh, a whole lot of water, and the ground under it was still pretty frozen, and not many people had been through, so there wasn't much mud going on. But uh, today's different. There's a couple of real good... Uh, soggy holes that are good and muddy as you can see we managed to chuck some mud right up on top and right up onto the gauge pod so we were into it so anyways we'll get back at her have some more fun and ripping on the way back What are you gonna do back here? 